It is baseball time in Chickasha. Baseball season opens up this weekend, so today we have baseball coach Mike Ross on the show to talk about what we can expect of the 2014 Rovers. This is In the Saddle. Welcome to another In the Saddle with Drover Sports. Today we have head coach Mike Ross with the baseball team here to talk about baseball season. Welcome to the show, coach. Thanks for having me. So as of filming, there's actually snow on the ground in Chickasha, but we're talking baseball. We opened up this week. So how does the season look? Uh, it looks pretty good if the sun will come out and melt all the snow. Uh, we got a couple warm days last weekend and uh, we were able to get outside and practice a little bit. So you just got to pick your days and, and take advantage of the warm weather when you get it. Okay, so um, how does the season look going into it? Well, uh, we got a bunch of new faces this year, so we've just been out there practicing every day and uh, trying to get better, and I'm trying to learn what those guys can do and can't do, uh, trying to put them in the right situations to be successful. And uh, going into it, you know, my expe expectations are always the same, expect them to go out and play hard and compete every day, and uh, we'll see where we end up. So. Okay. Um Preseason polls were actually fairly good to the Drovers. We were picked fifth in the Sooner Athletic Conference and receiving votes nationally, which um, is, is really exciting. So how do you, how do you feel about those? Uh, it's, it, it's nice to uh, have some votes early. Uh, that just kind of puts you in an advantage uh, when the first poll comes out. Uh, it's kind of hard to get in there if you're, if you're not in there in the first one. But uh, a lot of that's based off of last year. And, and this team this year has got to go out and create their own success and uh, we can't rely on what those guys did for us last year, but uh, they're ready to do it. They're excited. They got some recognition, and like I said, it's an advantage to us to be in the first poll, the preseason poll. Well, and you mentioned last season that's uh, we're probably coming off of the best season in Drover baseball history. We went to the um, NAI National Championship for the first time. We set all kinds of records, mm -hmm. including wins records and mm -hmm. lots of pitching records, too. Yeah. So um, how is that going to factor into this season? Is that make the expectations higher? Well, I think last year we, we got to where we wanted to go and got to the national tournament. So, you know, that's always been our goal. And last year was the first time we got there. And, and I've talked about it with the team this year that we've been there now and now it's their job to keep us there. Uh, we don't want to take any steps backwards and have to fight back uh, to get back in there and, and just be able to continue on the successes that last year's team set for us. And I think this team is, is aware of that and they can do those kinds of things for us. Okay. Well, um, as you mentioned, there's not really very many familiar faces on the team this year. I think as far as starters go, we have our catcher, Owen Adams, and, mm -hmm. and a, one pitcher mm -hmm. who's back. Um, mm -hmm. So how, what has recruiting been like? How did you bring a team together? Well, I mean, you know, this is what you get when you recruit junior college guys. You get a lot of turnover every couple of years. And uh, Coach Hayden did a great job going out and recruiting. We identified the players that we needed. And uh, he did a great job in making a lot of contacts and bringing these guys in. And it's, it's a lot of hard work, especially when you're bringing in 22 to 25 new guys every year. And so, but that's, that's the nature of the job. And, and that's the way we're going to run our program. And, and so it's expected every couple of years that, you know, it's going to be a big recruiting year. So do you have any key newcomers to talk about? Uh, you know, honestly, they're all key. Um, we've got a lot of depth this year. And again, with them all being new, we haven't played anybody else, so I'm, I'm waiting to see what we can do against an, a, another opponent. Uh, but they're all key to me. There's pieces of the puzzle that I've got to figure out uh, where they go and at what times. Um, you know, there's some guys that are going to be everyday guys, but for the most part, it's going to take all 30 guys to go out and, and have a successful season. What about key returners? Uh, our returners are, are a big key. You know, you got Owen Adams, uh, Chris Fisher. Uh, Josh Terrell, Aaron Koffer, and Kyle Lewis. Uh, those guys were here last year and they know what it takes to get to where we want to go. And so I'm going to expect a lot of big things from those guys. Uh, whether they're, they're playing every day or not, uh, obviously as a pitcher you play you know, once a week mm -hmm. basically. Uh, but those guys can lead us and, and when it's their time to uh, get out there and get it done, they need to step up and, and help the team out as best they can. So what are your goals for this season this year? Uh, just like always, uh, make the national tournament. Um, you know, there's a couple different ways you can get in there, but you know, my goal is at the end of the year to have a chance to play for a championship, and you've just got to make the national tournament to do that because anything can happen when you're in the postseason. 
Well, and the Sooner Athletic Conference isn't any easier this year than any other year. Baseball is a particularly difficult sport in the Sooner Athletic Conference. Yeah, the, the league is just loaded. It's, it's just unbelievable. I mean, we lost some really good teams. Uh, you know, the, the fifth place team in our league last year made it to the World Series. That just speaks for the depth of, of the league and, and picking up Northwood and Texas Wesleyan and people like that. Uh, it, it probably got stronger. Uh, those are two really good teams, predominantly been good. So, I mean, it's Sooner Athletic Conference baseball, and that's, that's why I love being here and working in this league. Well, coming off of the national tournament and being picked fifth in the Sooner Athletic Conference just shows you how stacked it is. I think the top six teams all were national championship, you know, tournament folks. So Yeah. Well, we open up the season this weekend at Texas College. Mm -hmm. um, our home opener is actually the next weekend, February 8th, against Bethany. And um, that game and, and some many of our other games this year are going to be um, live streamed in high definition for the first time um, in, our, I think, our baseball history. So are your fans looking forward to that? Well, I hope so. I, I know you've put in a lot of work to get that done, and, and it's exciting for us because we, we get a lot of kids from different states where their parents can't come watch and play. Uh, and it'll be nice for them to be able to turn on the computer and, and maybe watch their son play. I know I've, I've coached some guys in the past that, that their parents have never been able to see them play college baseball, uh, whether they're just so far from home or work schedules or whatever, what have you. Uh, so it's exciting. I hope they're excited about it. I hope they take advantage uh, of it because I know it's been a, a work in progress, and I'm, I'm glad it's here and, and we're going to have those capabilities. Yeah, we, I think we've worked out most of the kinks. We've gotten through soccer and bas most of basketball season. So I'm sure we'll throw some kinks <laughs> in there for you. You, you always do. <laughs> Just to remind fans, they can check that out at usao.edu slash sports. Well, Coach, thanks for being on the show, and good luck this season. We look forward to another great season. Thanks a lot. Baseball. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. This year we ask you a USAO or USAO Athletics trivia question and be the first one to email us with the correct answer to win your very own In the Saddle prizes. This week we want to know where was the driver's baseball team ranked in the preseason Sooner Athletic Conference poll? Email us at usaointhesaddle at yahoo.com with the correct answer to win your prizes. As we get ready for baseball, we can't forget about basketball. We're still in the middle of conference play, so check us out on usao.edu slash sports on all season results and schedules for all of our sports. We'll see you next time on In Saddle.